It's fair to say there's barely any excitement about new Marvel movies or shows, and for good reason. Their recent movies like the Marvel's Quantum Mania and Thor Love and Thunder have been massive letdowns. Barely anyone is actually watching the shows, so they don't even matter at this point. The few projects that did well were rare exceptions. Guardians 3 was a holdover from the Infinity Saga, and that's all over now that James Gunn is gone. No Way Home brought all three Spider-Man on screen together, which is something that only works for Spider-Man movies, and clearly had no lasting effect on their movies after that. Deadpool 3 falls into that same category, and if you thought the No Way Home hype got out of hand, you haven't seen anything yet. That's... that's not possible! Ryan Reynolds has been talking a lot recently about the Deadpool 3 leaks, and the way he approached the subject is what makes him so different from other MCU actors. He didn't attack the fans or get angry, he just talked about how spoilers ruin a movie, and that he understands fans look for all these leaks because of how excited they are. He jokingly posted a photoshopped picture of the Predator on the Deadpool 3 set, trying to get people to use a hashtag to clog up their search results when people look for leaks. Reynolds is a likable guy and in today's world that's a rare thing to say about an actor. Honestly I can't say I disagree with him, leaks do ruin a movie to a degree, but they also get people excited for something they may not have cared about before. People would have seen No Way Home regardless of the leaks, but the MCU was still riding high back then. Now it's in the gutter rotting away so it needs all the help it can get. That is one big pile of shit. There's no denying that Deadpool 3 is going to benefit from all these leaks. Like I said, people would watch No Way Home either way just to see Spider-Man. Deadpool 3 doesn't have that advantage. If we knew nothing about this movie, in today's MCU it would probably bomb. Hell, there's a reason Marvel announced Wolverine would be in it. They know their movies are struggling and they'll do anything they can to get people excited again. We saw that with that BS trailer they put out for the Marvels, trying to link it to the Avengers and Thanos, so it wouldn't surprise me if Marvel execs don't agree with Ryan when it comes to these leaks. All that matters is power and the unassailable might of money. No Way Home had some pretty wild rumors, but this movie hasn't even finished filming and it already has way more leaks surrounding it. The issue is that like Ryan mentions, they're filming outdoors using practical effects, so a lot of these leaks aren't rumors, they're real set photos. We've seen Wolverine, Sabretooth, Toad, TVA agents, and even the destroyed Fox logo, which on their own give us a pretty good idea about this movie and its multiverse story. Then the rumors about this movie involving the TVA and the heroes searching the multiverse for the best version of each hero start to make a lot more sense. And that's not even the wildest part of these rumors. Damn! A lot of the rumors still haven't been proven with set photos, but at this point it seems like a matter of time. Scoopers have been arguing about these rumors for a while now, so believe who you want, but it seems like Scarlet Witch could play a big part in this movie. One of the rumors is similar to a Multiverse of Madness rumor that never happened, where Scarlet Witch fights Jean Grey, but this movie already has Wolverine, so if Jean Grey or any other X-Men for that matter was gonna appear, it would be in this movie. Supposedly, actress Emma Corinne has already been cast as a lead villain though, with most of the rumors saying she'll either be playing Danger, who's the living embodiment of the X-Men's Danger Room, or Professor X's not-so-dead twin Cassandra. What? Did you just say to me? Yeah, you heard that right. Apparently, Professor X had a stillborn twin who didn't really die and came back to life or some weird crap like that. I don't know, man. Comics can get pretty strange sometimes. Again, some pretty wild and out there stuff, so you can see why Ryan Reynolds would feel that way. How true any of that proves to be is still up in the air at this point, but based on previous rumors and what we already know about this movie, the danger rumor wouldn't be that crazy, considering how many X-Men are reportedly going to be in this movie. Cassandra's story is a bit too grotesque for the MCU, so that one seems more unlikely, but who knows, maybe they'll use Deadpool to turn that into a joke. The villain definitely has to be on that level for this movie to make sense though, because otherwise having all those heroes and cameos wouldn't really be logical. Although we are talking about the MCU here, so it's not like they're too focused on making sense these days. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. Seeing three Spider-Men on screen together is a movie that easily sells itself even to the general audience, but I'm not sure how hyped they'll be about Wolverine and Deadpool. As a comic book fan, yeah, I'm definitely a bit interested to see Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman on screen together, but how appealing is that to the casual fans? Either way, that hype won't help the MCU overall, just like No Way Home didn't do anything to help Phases 4 or 5. 
Marvel's hopes for this movie are insanely high, to the point that it's the only movie they're releasing in 2024 as of now. They might think that the insanity of this movie is going to win them back some fans, but the sad truth is this movie is an outlier and pretty much all the fans know that. It has the potential to be a fun one-off movie, but then it's back to all the nonsense and boring crap Disney is so good at making now. 